Welcome back to Snurner, guys, and today you join me on a moderately rainy afternoon out here on the Sequoia National Park map where we have brought out Lime's 2017 L400 with a dually setup on Swampers with a gooseneck as well as two side-by-sides and a quad that are all fully prepped for the mud bogs. Now, the mud bogging area on this map is definitely along the lines of a swamp style mud bog, but it's going to be really interesting to head out there and see which one of these does the best. Now, we have right here Frogs side by side, and then we have Lime's RZR, and then on the back we have Frogs Can Am Renegade. Now, I'm sure these are all going to be a blast out there in the mud. I'm sure they're all going to do really, really well, but without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire up the 2017 L400. We'll make our way out there and we'll see what they can do. I love the startup on this thing. The startup on this thing is so good. So let me go ahead and check my GPS real quick to best plan out my route. Now, the mud bog itself is basically right here. However, it spans this entire line, and it kind of turns into water down here, basically. But I think the way... See, here's the interesting thing. I want to be here. However, there's a bit of a trail between me and that. So my consideration, or at least my best consideration right now is to go down around, well, I guess you could go kind of down past the campgrounds and then turn right. That would most likely be your best option, would be to go down around the campgrounds and turn right. What I might do is do a little bit of a cut between both of these roads, and that way it won't necessarily take super long to get there. I won't have to loop the whole map, but it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. All right, we're going to make a go make a quick turnaround right here and not hit that tree. Turning radius is not the greatest on this thing, but, I mean, what do you expect? It's a dually on massively wide offset wheels and swampers. I mean, turning radius is not necessarily going to be its forte. Now, it is very smoky with these dual 45-degree angle stacks, but shouldn't be too bad, and we also shouldn't disturb the neighbors too much. And, really, it's not even the neighbors I'd be worried about. It's the campers out here. All right, so let's make our way down the road, and we're going to go ahead and head right past the motel on your left. You've got kind of like a... Uh, Kind of like, almost like a welcome center kind of, you know, office area on your right. A little bit of a parking area there. Beautiful lake on the left right now, though. Absolutely gorgeous. And I love, 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 love hauling a trailer full of rigs out to a section of a map where you know you're going to have a good time. And the swamp section of this map, or really any section of this map in general, is going to be a good time. But the swamp section in general is always going to be a blast. And of course, this map is fully available on both PC and consoles. Now, this is where we're going to do our just a little bit of a unofficial cut through. Don't worry about it. It's uh, it's literally all going to be just fine. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to just find our way down to the, excuse me, tree. We're going to find our way down to where these campsites are. And then we're going to just ease our way back to the road because the spacing between the trees is plenty wide enough for us to do just that. Once again, not necessarily the encouraged route, but it's no problem. No problem at all. Got to keep that trailer from swaying, which you can do by tapping the e-brake. Tapping the e-brake will really help straighten the trailer out if it ever gets out of sorts, but I definitely recommend uh, not swinging this trailer around too hard because if you do, you may wind up in a little bit of trouble a little bit quicker than you may have bargained for. All right. God, I love the way that thing looks. The, the setup on that thing is just so good. Trying not to take out the camp sign, and it, actually, in fact, I swung way wider than I needed to. Although I do wonder sometimes why there's, like, loose rocks out here even on the paved road. And I have a feeling that it's almost... I almost wonder if it's kind of to simulate the idea that maybe, you know, maybe there was a big storm out here recently, and it washed down, you know, some of these rocks down onto the main road off the hills. But regardless, we've got these massive trees that really do provide for an incredible-looking experience. Now... Let's go ahead and do a quick check on our cargo. Good to go. All those suspension angles should be sitting just right. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, we got our unloading area coming up. And I'm actually going to just pull up right to the side of the swamp. That way we'll have a really nice open area to get unloaded. Now, normally I feel like it would probably be best to use that parking lot, but we're not going to worry about that. We're just not going to worry about it. It's going to be fine. Now, let me go ahead and pull up right down here. I know there's a lot of rocks. I mean, there is really, like, a crap ton of rocks down here. But, once again, it's all good. There's a nice little, actually, a nice little patch right there before it turns completely to dirt and gets really, really patchy. But, let me make my way down right here. 
Not bad. I kind of want to get out of, like... I kind of want to get out of the road, though. This... Oh, yeah. This works. Dude. Dude. Oh, my God. I'm so ready to get this setup unloaded and ready to go. All right. Let me go ahead and unpack trucks. We'll put those ramps down, and we'll go ahead and shut the engine down. I want to see what this looks like real quick. I feel like this is probably, like... This has to be, like, one of those sites where it's like, yeah, you're not going to get this on any other map. Oh, dude. Dude, I freaking love that. I absolutely freaking love that. And look at that. You can see not only the hauler, but you can see the entire mud bog that we're about to go into. Bro, that is, like, that's one of the coolest views I think I've seen in this game so far. That is so sick. All right, so let's go ahead and get back out of free cam now, and we're going to make our first run in the Can-Am Renegade. See how it does out here. This thing is going to be a beast, though. It's going to be a beast in the mud. Now, I think I'll probably try it on the edges first and then go right into the middle. Well, actually, why don't I just go right into the middle right off the bat? Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Three, two, one, go. Holy crap, it sends it all right. Wow, that actually... Well, I got swamped pretty quick. Hang on. Let me put it in low, see if I can make my way out of here. This stuff is no joke. I mean, this swamp is gnarly. Dude, it is already starting to, like, not... Not feel it. It's almost through this first part. But look how much more it's got to go. I mean, this is gonna get swamped out real quick. Let me aim for the edge, because I feel like that might be a much better direction for this thing. See, when it... Whoa! Okay, that was almost catastrophic. But see, when it gets out of the deep stuff, it's great. It's fine. I mean, like, the moderate mud like this? God, this thing just absolutely rips. But when you get it out there into the middle of the swamp, it's like, uh-uh, not for me. Let me try to make a run across this way. Oh, I was trying to, like, feather the throttle, and I think I may have, well, not quite swamped it out, but got it really, really close to being swamped out. Come on, there you go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Back into high. So it's only that area right out there in the middle that's like really, really, really deep, like really bad. Let's see how Lime's side-by-side -side does. Now, Lime's side-by-side -side obviously is the console-friendly version of Lime's uh, RZR. And with these gigantic, like basically just mud bog tires, it should rip right through this swamp. Even the really, really deep parts, it should absolutely rip right through it. All right, let me get it lined up. Three, two, one, send! Oh my god! This isn't even the top spec transmission either. Wheeling through the deep stuff, this is where the Renegade got stuck. I almost rolled it, but it's okay. I'm on this, like, oh god. Yeah, I backflipped at that time. I had, like, no variance on the throttle at all. Like, I was just completely yeeting it. And very obviously, that was a big mistake. Very, very obviously, that was a big mistake. Let me give it a little bit of a solid winch point to pull to. Is there a... There, there was, temporarily, a log wedged in the entire, like, basically the whole body of the RZR. All right, let's make a run down to the other side. Varying the throttle input in high because I've discovered the hard way that if you're too hard on that throttle going over a bump You'll just backflip this thing doesn't even matter if you have the top spec engine in it or not. You will backflip it Come on. Oh starting to bog down. I might have found a section. That's tricky for it As long as you keep that momentum up though, you're all right. Is it gonna make it all the way to the end of the bog? Oh, come on, dude. You're almost there. I Am so close to the end of the bog landed on the back wheels right there and kept going this swamp is so long. It's huge. Oh, so many wheelies. So many power wheelies, really. You could legitimately have, like, actual mudding competitions here. It's it's that wild. Almost there. And... I'm going to call that the end of the mud bog because that's kind of where the visible mud ends. But, like, I mean, apart from driver error on my part... That was an incredible run. Let's see if it'll run back the other way just as smoothly. And launch! Tries to pull those front wheels up right off the bat. Still keeping the front end off the ground. 
As long as I'm not, like, necessarily going up something, I can go full throttle. I just have to be careful where I do it. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Cool. We made it back onto our wheels, so I'm not going to say that we technically rolled it over. I think we're all right. Keep moving it. Oh, taking out that dead tree. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Let's go. Bro, right out here in the middle, this mud is absolutely nasty. It is so thick. See, it's even starting to bog it right there. But, like, if you start working the steering back and forth, you'll be in a much better position. Oh, 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 no! Oh, man, I caught a, just that little edge of the terrain. And then it was just like, it was game over after that. Man, well, I guess I, uh, I did not make it back the other direction without flipping over, but still... If we're talking about overall capability through this particular mud bog, I mean, this thing is just wild. Ooh. It did not want to get the front end back on the ground. There's the truck and trailer set up. Come on, find your way through. There it is. God, I am just holding these wheelies for such a long time. Way longer than I thought I would be holding these wheelies, not gonna lie. All right, now it's time for a run in frog side by side. This is gonna be interesting because I haven't driven this thing in the mud with the mud set up in a very long time. So it's gonna be a really interesting experiment, especially when compared to that freaking crazy run from the RZR. Three, two, one, go! Sending it. It does start bogging down, come on. High range is not what it likes, but it might be a little bit better off in automatic mode. Maybe low plus. Low plus it's not mad about. I mean, it can definitely get through the deep stuff in low plus. It's not necessarily going to do it in high. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that the other RZR is, like, better overall. It just, now, is it faster? Sure. But it all depends on what kind of driving style and gameplay style you personally prefer and which one you're going to end up going with in the end. So let's see. Now that the mud has kind of cleared up a little bit, let's put it in high and see if it'll go. Nope, not yet. Not shallow enough yet. I'm really wanting to find that limit of where this thing is willing to go into high. Because it's definitely not willing to go into high out here towards the middle. Let me see right here where it becomes a little shallower. Now it's willing to go into high and it starts ripping once it actually gets that, that traction. But you definitely have to stay further to the edges of the bog if you want to run this thing uh, in high. And see the, the moderate mud right here, like the moderate depth, it, it's fine. It's absolutely just like smooth flat out. But... Man, you've got to be careful where to use high range in this thing. Otherwise, you will dig and you will get swapped very fast. Ooh, come on. It's definitely like you can tell that this thing is really working hard to get to where it needs to be. It's really, really working hard to get to where it needs to be. Come on. I mean, we're almost there. Almost there. I know we're not in the main bog right now, but I feel like we might be able to have enough momentum to... Nope. Wow, that's wild. Like, even if you have a ton of momentum, you dive back into the mud bog, and it's like, nope, momentum is cut, you're done. God, that is absolutely insane. The fact that it just cuts off your momentum that early on, that's absolutely ridiculous. That is absolutely freaking ridiculous. Now that we've tried all three vehicles in the mud bog, there's one more thing we need to do before we finish up here. Now, some of you guys may have already figured this out, but... I didn't really want to leave here without trying, <laughs> without trying the 17L400 with, with the dual swampers in the mud. Let's see what suspension mode you're in. There we go. We'll put you in high mode, turn the lights on, and take it to the front of the mud bog, and then we're going to see what this thing can do. Sun's starting to set. Hopefully this thing rips. Hopefully. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best, but this thing absolutely just does such a wild and crazy run. Although it might not. It might not. It might get swamped out. Three, two, one, go! Jumps off the line very hard. Come on. Starting to bog a little bit. Gotta get it out of high while I can. The middle of this mud bog is nothing to be messed with. I mean, even if you're in a very capable vehicle, you have got to have a dedicated mud setup to make it through here. And that's the only reason why Lime Side by Side made it through here as well as it did, was because I had a dedicated mud setup on it. Now, I had a dedicated mud setup on the other two, but that one had just a little bit more of a, like, a speed-focused mud setup. 
but I mean, even with this thing in a full-on toe setup, these Swampers are still doing a great job out here in the mud. I mean, genuinely doing an awesome job. And I think at the end of the day, if you are looking for one of the most challenging mud bogs in the game right now, definitely head out here to the swamp slash mud pit on the Sequoia National Park map. That's going to do it for this video, guys. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And of course, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time.